How's it going, guys? Siphon here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Academy Life. I know y'all been itching to see the next gameplay, and I've completely re-recorded it so y'all can see what's gonna go on in this one, and I hope y'all are ready for it, because I'm for sure as hell ready to show you. Now, anyway, without further ado, let's roll it up and start it out. What? Round two. What? What? Hey. What? What? I'm sorry. Shit. I just, I just love the fucking music. I take a good look around the room and find absolutely nobody that I recognize. That's kind of a bummer. Then again, I've never had much trouble making friends in the past, so I'm not that worried. Salutations, my students! Welcome to your psychic class! I have no idea if that's a male or a female, y'all, so I'm just gonna give him this kind of spin offy voice. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Great Will, your teacher. I don't know if he's part of the story at all. I don't pay attention to, like, if he was part of the Pokemon history. I mean, I don't know. He's probably just something different. For the class, we will not only be learning about psychic Pokemon, but we will be also training your innate psychic powers as well. Shit, I'm psychic. Our psychic powers? Unbeknownst to most, every living being in this world has psychic potential. The power is just hidden away, and it will be my job to bring it out of you to increase your natural focus. If your focus is too weak, your telepathic bond with your Pokemon will be severed easily. You must become familiar with ESP, and your Pokemon will become undefeatable. As you can see, I'm quite the capable Esper. This motherfucker is floating books and shit in the classroom. Wow, that's really cool. I'll bite a bit terrifying. That shit is terrifying. Like, look at that shit. Books is already on their own level of fucking terrifying, especially in scary games. Like, they're, like, terrifying to look at. But look, that shit's even worse. Thank you, thank you. If you want to achieve this level of telekinesis, you must first understand the steps to ESP. The first step to using ESP is to practice meditation. And to meditate efficiently, you must have solid concentration. In order to have solid concentration, you must rid your mind of distractions. Distractions come in many shapes and forms, but mostly there are... This sounds like all comes of baloney to me. I casually glance around the room and see a girl next to me texting on her phone. Can't blame her. This isn't exactly the most exciting way to start off the class. She's texting this shit in the classroom now. Eat. What the fuck is that? I think that's coming from her phone. Uh, I don't know what that is. I hope it's not nothing like epically fucking, you know. Now I'm definitely sure that came from her. The technology is dumb. <laughs> She's kind of cute, y'all. I like her hair. Huh? I honestly didn't plan on staring at her for this long, but watching her reactions is kind of amusing. I'm guessing you like Pokemon Rangers? Shh, not so loud. Hey, I'm not judging. I think it's cool that you like that show. What? Wait, really? You don't think it's lame? Of course not. I used to watch those shows all the time when I was a kid. I thought the Fire Ranger was kick-ass. What? No way. Norman Ranger was the coolest. He always came in at just the right time to save the day. Haha, <laughs> yeah, he was really cool too. Those were the days. Mm-hmm. Hey, would you mind not telling anybody about this? <laughs> It's kind of embarrassing. Shit, you gotta be yourself, man. Don't be embarrassed. Of course, your secret's safe with me, but you know, you'll keep a secret. Thanks. Um, I'm Sai. I'm Skyla. Nice to meet you. Now, for our first exercise, I want you all to close your eyes and concentrate on all your thoughts on one thing. It doesn't matter what, as long as it's the only thing you're thinking about. This way, you can attune yourselves to your natural focus and bring out your inner telekinetic power. So, are we gonna get to the Pokemon battle? No harm in trying. Close them eyes, boy. Don't think about any of the girls either, because I know you're going to be thinking about it. Whoops, was that my pencil? Uh, what? <gasps> who, who? Oh my god, bitch! <gasps> the girl called me Sabrina! Yo! Clearly my brain is trying to play tricks on me, but my eyes are telling me this girl's levitating a pencil. Damn right she is! Don't tell me she's an esper, too. She sure is, and she's pretty as shit, y'all. You see that long, elegant hair? You drop this. Uh oh, that's my my pencil. Damn. Okay, take it. Yo, she's so damn awkward. Well, do you want it back or not? Oh, yes. Sorry. Thank you. Um, what? 
I, uh, didn't catch your name. Sabrina. Thanks, Sabrina. I'm Sai. Um, how long have you been practicing magic tricks? Ooh, bitch. She give me that stone look. Like, it's not a magic trick, motherfucker. I'm a fucking X-Man. Right. Well, I'll just, uh, turn back this way. My heart's about to jump out of my chest. I felt like my life was in danger just by talking to her. Yeah, have you seen the stone look she gave you? There's just a few things in life you don't do is you fuck with a bitch whose eyes are just like... Try me, motherfucker. Try me. Just try me. <laughs> fuck that. Right, that's enough of that for now. Open your eyes, students. Let's move to basic telepathy theory, shall we? Oh, that's the bell. Oh, time's up already. That's okay, we'll continue next time. We can only keep getting better from here. This has got to be one of the weirdest classes I've ever had to take part in. I really hope things manage to normalize in the future. What a day it's been. Still one more class though. Gotta finish strong. Shit, one more class. He's gonna do it, y'all. Shit, it's the homeroom joint. I think. Yeah, it is. It's the homie Professor Oak. As the day draws so close, I find myself back at homeroom Professor Oak. The day itself didn't feel like it dragged on for that long, but all things considered, I'm ready to call it. Judging by the looks on everyone's faces, they look like they're ready too. So much for finishing strong. The final period burns through, through while we listen to Professor Oak talk about rather trivial matters like making sure we take our notes, label our notebooks properly, and avoid pulling all-nighters. It's weird. I was expecting class with Professor to be a little more, how should I put it, fulfilling? At least that's what my other classmates were making out to be earlier in the day. But so far, I haven't taken anything out of my homeroom that's especially memorable other than the scary speech about the school's graduation rate. Maybe he's unprepared. No way. Not Professor Oak. I can tell by the look in your eyes that you're all quite tired of listening to me prattle on. To tell you the truth, I'm tired of it too. Ha <laughs> ha. But before I dismiss you, let me to give you all a welcoming gift, a celebration for your acceptance in the Kobukon Academy. <gasps> the Pokemans! <sighs> what? Are those what I think they are? If so, then this class just got a little more exciting. Today, each of you will be taking home a Pokemon for yourself, courtesy of the Academy. What? In each of these Pokeballs that you will receive is a random, unevolved, untamed Pokemon. Consider them your homework for the next three years. Hey, I got plenty of Pokemon back home already. I don't need any more, especially unevolved ones. Look at this motherfucker. Look, you salty motherfucker. Some of us want the Pokemon, okay? You could be salty on your own on the other side of the fucking room. And you know what? Call Sabrina because she can be with you too because y'all both look salty. And they both got that stone eye look too. Regardless of what Pokemon you may already own, these Pokemon will be required to stay on hand for the rest of your time at Kobukon Academy. At the end of your third year, this Pokemon will be reviewed along with yourself and other potential Pokemon in your party to determine whether or not you can graduate. Great! I just love being forced to take on liabilities. This motherfucker. Sit your preppy ass down! That's the spirit, Boo Boo. So that's how they do it. I assume this school wasn't going to be all about good grades, so this isn't a complete shocker. I'll call you up one by one to receive your Pokemon. Remember, what you get is what you get. Oh my god, bitch, so it's random? This takes me back to when I was a kid and Professor Oak gave me my first Pokemon. It was the same situation. I didn't get much of a choice. In retrospect, it wasn't the momentous occasion, but I thought it was the best day of my life. Times were simpler back then. Speaking of which, knowing that I can bring any Pokemon I want from home, I need to get Mom to send me him as soon as possible. I wonder who him is. Shit, y'all. Fuck. Hmm. Oh my god, bitch. Congratulations, it's Charmander! What? Got the homie Charmander, y'all. That's what's up. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. I, what? You're not pulling my leg, are you? I'm not pulling anybody's leg. Here is, he's in your care now. All right! A Charmander? Today is my lucky day. I didn't know what to expect, but everything somehow turned out better than I could have imagined. Now watch the little motherfucker blue come up, and he pulls out a Squirtle or some shit. Thank you. I knew the gods were looking out for me. Shit, the range goddesses are always on my mark like when I play MMOs, y'all. Shit. You got a star Pokemon too, Sai? A two? Did you also get a starter? You bet I did. Say hello to Bulbasaur. Well, I'm going to keep him in a Pokeball for now, so I don't think he can hear you, but whatever. He's going to be awesome. Your Charmander should play with my Bulbasaur sometime. It's only natural that our Pokemon should be best friends like their trainers. Oh, 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 oh shit, y'all. I want that best friend to help. Shit. I'm going to break out that shit soon, too. Y Watch. Since when we're a best friend, you got a Charmander siphon? Ha! That's perfect. Look at this motherfucker's face. I don't, don't like. I don't like him. I just never liked him. He just has to ruin every happy moment I get. What's wrong with the Charmander? 
Oh, nothing really, except it won't stand a chance against my Squirtle. <laughs> I knew he was gonna get a fucking Squirtle. What? It must be a divine retribution. You're never gonna beat me, even at random draws. <laughs> He's the only salty motherfucker to make it seem like my range doesn't mean a goddamn thing. Really? A Squirtle? Of all the Pokemon to get, he has to get that one? Yo, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. And he wants to battle me like the old days. All right, that's cool. Blue, this is the time or place for that. Shit, he activated his bike. You know, like back in the day when you activate your bike, it's like, nope, not the time or place for that when you're like inside of a building. I'm stuck. Psh, whatever, my Pokemon looks a lot stronger than anyway. Hey, leave him alone. It's not nice to bully others. Oh my God, bitch. Oh, I, uh, and for your information, I got a fire starter too. Just ignore him. What you get, man? A Torchic. She and I are gonna be best buds. I just know it. Haha, <laughs> Torchic really suits you, man. I mean, your bow, are, your bow already reminds me of their fuzzy heads. Hey, you're right. You hear that, Torchic? That was fate. You and me were meant to be. You guys got starters? Lucky. Oh my God, it's that angry bitch. Yeah, maybe just a little. What Pokemon did you guys get? A Cleffa, it's different kind of cute compared to my Miltank, but I'll take it. Of course you'll have the Miltank. By the way, y'all, Miltank was a bitch to beat in gold, if y'all ever played that shit. I heard these little tykes are, like, really rare. I got a Numel. I'm taking the Fire and Ground elective, so I'd say this worked out okay. I didn't get a Psychic or Poison type. Shit. But it's alright. It might take me a while to get used to the whole Camel thing. It's, gone, it's, not, it's got going on, though. But it's one of the few Pokemon in the world that can learn Eruption. I don't think I don't know all there is to know about fire Pokemon, but isn't the move super cool, like super good? I mean, I guess it's all right, but I was hoping for something that isn't a fire type for once. I got enough of these back home. I can't wait to play my Torchic. She's gonna have so much fun with my Skitty when she gets here. We could bring our Pokemon here from home. The professor said that it doesn't matter what other Pokemon we have in our party. So yeah, I'm getting my Jigglypuff and Niran sent here tomorrow morning. I need to get them out of the Pokemon Center. They've been in there for months. If they're anything like me, they can't sit still for too long. That's not good. Have you guys been giving them their vitamins at all? Of course. What kind of trainer wouldn't? Vitamins? I'm getting some vibes that maybe I'm not the most experienced trainer in the room right now. I mean, I've, I've dealt with my fair share, but I've only really owned one in my life. Once again, I've got this nagging feel that I'm a few steps behind everyone. If this keeps up, I might get left behind. What are you all standing around for? Class is over. Go on home already. This motherfucker wants to get laid. That's why he's sending us home. That's what's wrong. Professor Oak still got it. Sorry, I've got plans. Brennan said he was hungry and wanted me to meet up with him in the cafeteria after classes. But we just had lunch. You guys are going to stuff your faces again? You're going to get fat. Well, I'm not hungry, but Brennan wants me to come with him. So, I mean, unless you guys want to come with me. Nah, I'm okay. Sorry, and I will find something else to do. Oh, bitch. She's already assuming that we'll find something else to do. Shit, I can tell you what I want to do. Something good, y'all. Shit, what? Stop. Okay. Huh? There she goes, assigning things for herself again. But it's true that I don't have any plans today, and it beats third wheeling with me and Brenda. I told you, your boy's starting to feel a kind of way. I told you. I told you. See, this is the perfect route. Just go and let me and Brenda be them, and you be yourself. Yo, let's go, May. Oh, great. Have fun, you two. Give me a call if you need anything, Leaf. You ain't gonna tell me to give you a call, alright, alright. Oh shit, she just left me and shit. So what do you wanna do? Don't tell me you have plans today too, shit. We could go back to the dorm, shit. You know Brennan ain't gonna come back. He gonna be stuffing his face all day. We could come back to my room, shit. We could lock the doors. Alright. Well, nothing, not really, but... Great. Um, wanna hang out in the lobby while we think of a place to go? Uh, sure, but I don't really know any place to go around here. What are you talking about? We can go to the garden, the recreation center, the research center, or... My dorm! Say it. Does any of that sound familiar to you? Uh, I sadly shake my head. Hmm, I would have thought that maybe you wised up since the last time, but maybe your sense of direction is innately hopeless. Luckily, you have me. Let's break out of the old map and take a look around the area. Ooh, bitch. Battle Hall, Academy, Inspira City, Research Center, Pledge Hall, Relic Hall, Student Center, Aura Hall. We're right over here in the main building above the Student Center. Now you see all the paths of the map. Those are the paths that we could take to the other. This map's really straightforward. All right, but if you have any questions about the area in general, just let me know. Okay, uh, well, first off, which buildings are open to students? Where can I go to f that, that, <clears throat> where can I go that's free access to the students? Well, right now, all of them more or less with the exception of the bow hall. They're all open to students throughout the day, but they close down at night. After that, you'll need special permits. So basically, once they're closed, I'll have to wait until the next day to get in. Yeah, it's kind of lame, but once they're closed, your activities will be limited to your dorm. You should really try to make the most out of your day before that. Anything else you'd like to know? I can hang out with you for a while. I don't care where we go, so you can lead the way. Yay! We can just hang out here. I don't think we've had time to chat for a while. So what did you want to talk about? 
Mm, anything to keep the boredom away, I suppose. So you just need me here to distract you, or... What? Of course not. I'm very interested in having a thoughtful and meaningful conversation between us. All right, then how about... Oh, you're from Kanto too, right? Have you ever been to Cinnabar Island before? I read this travel guide the other day and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Well, except for the fucking Mewtwo Museum, where that motherfucker was chilling. Shit. If cruise tickets go on sale before the summer, I'm sure the seasonal discounts could... This girl sometimes, I can't tell if she's actively pushing my buttons or just tactless when it comes to this kind of stuff. If it wasn't for her, somehow graceless the personality, I'd assume she's the idol of the school or something. But her personality isn't all that bad. Honestly, it's nice to have someone initiate a conversation with me for a change. Hey, are you listening? Uh, oh, sh sure. Yes, yeah, Cinnabar Island. Super fun. Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. We should take a trip over there for a vacation sometime, and we could bring the rest of the gang. Who? You mean May and Brendan? And Trevor and Tierno and Shauna. I mean, unless you don't want them to come. No, no, it's nothing like that. I just I had no idea you thought of us like that. Uh, like what? Like, uh, I don't know. You'd rather bring someone you know a little better? Don't be silly. You guys are my best friends. You say some weird things sometimes, Sai. Shit, you mean awkward. I say some weird things. I'm surprised. You'd think someone like Leaf would have tons of friends from home. But in any case, I'm grateful for that. And can't help but feel a bit touched that she considers me that way. Yeah, I, mean, I feel a bit touched. She's like the homie. It's starting to get a little late. I think I'll head back to Relic Hall soon. Thanks for spending time with me, Sai. <laughs> yeah, no prob. It was nice hanging out. All right, here we go, y'all. The research said Your boy, is that a Bulbasaur in a fucking skeleton? I did not think they would have some shit like that. Check this place out. It's like the Professor Oak's lab back home, except ten times bigger and cleaner. There aren't that many students around. The only people I can see are faculty members and some upperclassmen, I think. Everyone's just busy with work. Should I even be here? Sivan, is that you? What the fuck? <laughs> she popped up out of nowhere. The one and only. I didn't expect to see you here. Me too. Well, I mean, I didn't expect to see you here. Me? I didn't come here for any real reason. I was just taking a look around the school grounds, I guess. Oh, neat. I'm here because today the research center brought in magnemites and Voltors, and we're going to see how much energy they can store in a light bulb. Oh, but we're not going to use them for slave labor or anything. Gosh, no. that will be awful. Look how bouncy she is. She's fucking adorable, y'all. Look at... <laughs> You can think of this like some kind of coordinate conditioning or workout routine for Pokemon like Magamire or Voltorb. And I heard someone somewhere that since this technically don't have any muscle fibers or whatever, using up their electricity builds up their natural affinity to there. Are you bothering another guest, Shauna? Who says that? So, this is why new students are all afraid of coming here. That's the homie from X and Y. Oh, why? X and, X and Y. The motherfucker the glasses. What? What? Silly, Clement. Don't, I don't scare you, do I, Sai? <laughs> nah, I've seen far scarier things than you. So you're Clement. That's me. And I see you and Shauna know each other already. Yeah, Shauna's a friend of mine. We met really early in the semester, and we've been hung out a few times before this. Fascinating. Anyway, Cypher, let me formally welcome you to the research center. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of usual fun things to do around here, but if you're looking to advance your studies or even just to find something to do when you have downtime, there's no place better than this. Yeah, Clement's a super genius. His inventions are so cool that the school pays him to use them. Isn't that amazing? Shit, this bitch is fucking blowing his head up. What? Shauna, you're embarrassing me. Turns out Clement is a serious scientist and a robotics whiz kid. He's a little eccentric about the stuff he does, but it's no brainer that he's got some really cool ideas. After hanging out for a while, I decided to leave Sean and Clement to their own devices. It's pretty late. I should head back to the dorms. Oh shit, we're going back to the dorms, y'all. Shit, here we go. The demo ends. Oh, okay. It's oh, it's ending, y'all. Shit, my homie's in his like outfit. I'm kind of swole too. Look at him. Like, look at his fucking show. He's kind of swole. The demo ends here, but there's a lot more currently under development and on the way. Man, that's it. But hey, there are a bunch of other part paths you could take for some variation. As the game goes on, the choices you make will have even more impact. We barely scratched the surface. Your choices will determine who you meet. And you can find someone, everyone, right away. Sometimes, oh, she's pretty Serena. Shit, she's gorgeous. Sometimes it comes down to your choices. Sometimes you need to be patient. Um, I don't know how to say this, but good luck. You can check on the development updates via the poker community. Yeah, all that good stuff. Okay, I understand that shit. Got you. I got you. Thank you guys for so much for everything. Wow, y'all. Shit. That was Pokemon Academy Live. I didn't expect it. It was so long. I, I forgot that this was just a demo. Like, I was just playing away, and I didn't even realize it was just a demo. Like, I forget because it was just so much things going on in it. 
it is amazing i cannot wait for whatever they have in store i'm going to make sure i keep tabs on this shit make sure i pay attention to it so i can do more gameplays for y'all so y'all can check out more content from it now anyway Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the content that was displayed today. Check my channel for more content videos that I have done. And I will see all of you guys in the next gameplay. Siphon, log it out.